And now I'm going to talk about Stratata, a Microsoft Analytics partner that has a focus on work management data. Stratata has a project online report pack in the Power BI Partner Showcase. I'll be showing you some of those reports here in just a moment. Stratata also creates custom visuals for Power BI, custom Gantt charts with baselines, milestones, and all types of special formatting. You can even see task board visuals along with tiles, timelines with over 40 milestone shapes that I'll show you in just a second. As we move into this portfolio timeline, you can see I've got my portfolio organized by color. So each portfolio has its own color. I might want to look at project health. This is going to allow me to see all my projects organized by the health of the project. So I can see projects that are in good shape, those that are marginal, and those that need attention. I can even organize my projects by the phases. If you have standard phasing, you can see things like planning, analysis, and selection across all of your projects. So you can start to see some of the tailoring that you want to see inside of your projects. Let's move back to the portfolio overview. I'm going to add in the milestones and see what other information we can find out. As I look at this HIPAA compliance project, as I hover over it, I can see information about the project as project notes, and I can see here that the HIPAA team lost a senior manager recently. So it's giving me information directly as I need it online. As I hover over milestones, I can get information about those milestones. And if I want to, I can drill in and get additional detail. So let's go in, drill through, and let's look at the status report for this project. I want to understand what's going on with this particular project. I can see that I've got two active risks and two active issues. I can see the late tasks for this particular project. I can see baseline and current right here on the screen. I can see tasks with the highest work variance. So I'm getting a deeper view of my project. So if I'm in a position to make informed decisions, I can get in and really understand what's going on with this particular project. We can never navigate back to the overview and get additional information as we drill into different types of reports. And now I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to the portfolio timeline with baselines, our third report down here. As we can see, we've got the Care Plus infrastructure project. As I hover over it, I can see critical information about the project. I can see the baseline start and finish when I'm over the baseline. When I move up, I can see the current start and finish for the actual project. As I look at the Gantt chart itself, I can see all the critical milestones appear. And as I hover over them, it gives me the information about those baselines. So it really gives us that top to bottom view of our projects. So you've got the original portfolio showing you everything color coded. And now I'm drilling in and looking at my projects from another point of view. And now we've selected the top and bottom project for variances. As we look, I can see the top 10 projects that are under running and the top 10 projects that are over running for both cost and variance. So if I'm trying to manage my portfolio and I have budget control for the whole portfolio, I can see that the Texas Playbook is currently in need of $287,000 of cost. And over here, I've got an underrun of $286,000 on my Care Plus project. So as a portfolio manager, I can start to move money around between projects to go ahead and give myself a balanced portfolio so that when I'm reporting up management, I'm gonna be presenting the business case that I wanna present where I've got everything in balance for cost, schedule, and work. Let's go ahead and start to look at some trend reports as well. When we look at our trend reports, one of the other key things that Stratata does is allow you to take snapshots of your data. And why snapshots are important is it gives you that historical view of all of your project information, and we can compare this information over time. And a project status report is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. As I look at this week's status report for the e-commerce project, I can see the health is currently showing marginal and it's trending up from last week. Schedule is green with an upward trend. Cost is marginal with an upward trend. I can see how issues, risks, and so on have changed over time. I can see my issues this week and risks. I can see what those look like as well as text from my project managers. What were last week's accomplishments? and What's coming up for next week? And I can also see information about the major phases of the project. That's all interesting, 
but it becomes much more pertinent when we put it into context for where we were last week. And by capturing snapshots, we can simply navigate to last week and see what we, what we were told and how these trends are changing. So as I go backwards in time, I have that ability to put things in context of what those changes look like. Let's go back and look at a broader view of our portfolio and historical comparisons. Under historical comparisons, I can look at the entire portfolio. I can see how my costs and work have changed over time as well as durations. But as I look at each individual project, I can get a sense for what the past health was and what the current health is for my projects. I can compare past cost and current cost. So I can see that the last time I measured this, the cost was 1850 and it's gone up to 2300. I can see my cost on this project has gone up over time. I can only do this by comparing snapshots of our projects. If I come up to the top, I can, can change what the ranges I'm comparing to as well. So I can get a sense for how costs are changing on my projects from time period to time period. The next one I want to focus on is the portfolio trend dashboard. This dashboard allows us to focus on entire portfolios or narrow down to an individual project. And in this case, I've narrowed down to an individual project. I'm looking at the application development uh, portfolio and I'm looking at this individual project. And what Stratata gives us the ability to do with its timeline intelligence is actually forecast based on AI forecast based on AI. So I can see in this case how cost has changed. And here we've come up to today's date. And what the cone is showing us is what is likely to occur from an upper bound and a lower bound based on a statistical AI forecast. And you can look at cost. You can look at cost variance, remaining work. You can look at all the key elements of your projects that you want to analyze to understand what's potentially going to happen. So when your boss comes to you and says, what's our likely cost for this portfolio or for this individual project? You'll be able to look at your past performance because we've been snapshotting those every week and we can be able to use that and forecast what's likely to happen in the future.